Hello everyone and welcome to this new video for Babylon.js. Today I would like to talk about a new feature. Actually, no, it's not a new feature. It's something we already have in uh, Babylon.js since very long time, but it's a very um, not well-known uh, feature. I'm going to talk today about the behaviors. So let's dive in. Behaviors. It's a feature in Babylon.js that lets you code a behavior and attach and detach that behavior to a um, specific um, object. It could be a mesh, it could be a camera, and we're going to just try that together. You're going to see it's pretty straightforward, OK? So let me remove the picture in picture for now, uh, as I need to have some space here. OK, guys. So to create a behavior, you just need to declare a class. And I would say class, it's actually a, an object in JavaScript, sorry, here, that will contain um, uh, some, some uh, properties. The first one is a name. So the name of your behavior will be, in this case, my goal. Actually, let me just describe my goal um, quickly. My goal here is to be able to create a behavior that let a object track another one. So if I attach a behavior to my object, this object will be able to follow another object. Okay, So that's the goal of this behavior. And so this behavior can be reusable and shared. And so I, if I develop that once, I can attach it to multiple um, meshes, and they will all follow a target mesh. Okay, So let's go back to the code. So the name of my behavior will be, for instance, something like, and I'm bad at naming, so something like object tracker. OK. Then, a behavior must have a function, which is a init function. The init will be called by the system every time the, the, um, the behavior uh, needs to be initialized before the attachment. Okay, So once, uh, every time the, the system is, um, the, the behavior is attached. Okay, The second step is to have a attach function. So the, the goal of the attach function is to execute code when this behavior is attached to a target. Okay, And obviously, with the attach, you also have the detach. So the detach, it's obvious, will be run when you detach your behavior from a target. Okay, So on my case, I do not need anything specific here. right? I need something. Um, uh, I don't need to do anything specific during the initialization phase. What I need? It's to do something during the attach, OK? And so during the attach, I want to say, OK, I want to use my scene don't on before on before render observable to add a event. So on every frame, I want to make sure that the object I am attached to will follow, track another object. So here, I'm going to get a target, which is the object where this behavior is attached. Okay, And so what I want to do here is to simply say, you know what, target.position will be the one from my um, source. So in this case, let's say the source will always be the sphere. So I can say, OK, in this case, every time I attach this behavior to a mesh, it will track, follow the sphere. Okay, And so I'm just going to take the sphere position, and I just want to Cloud it. OK, so on every single frame, I want my target to follow the sphere. OK, and obviously on detach, what I have to do, I have to actually just remove that observable, right? It's pretty uh, uh, simple. So here uh, I have options. I, I can capture this, but let's say I'm going to just be a little bit lazy here and I'm going to just save it to um, a property directly on my observer and say, OK, you know what? My observer here scene dot on before render observable dot remove behavior dot observer and my observer is ready to go observer that's it i created a behavior okay and so now you're gonna ask the question how is it um how do we need to attach it so let's say we're gonna attach it um when the user clicks space and if it's already attached, we're going to remove it when the user hits space again. OK, so let me just create a var here. Is attached, false by default, obviously. And on window dot um, add event listener on key down, key down, I down, I want to execute a event 
handler that will do something for me. So here, let's say if event.keycode is different from 32 space, then but it turn, don't care. Okay. Else if is attached, I'm gonna detach. Okay. And if it's not attached, I'm gonna attach and then I'm gonna just switch is attached equal not is attached. Okay. So to attach here in this case, because we are not attached, what do you need to do? We just need to say, okay, I'm gonna work with the ground here, dot add behavior. That's it. Add behavior, behavior. That's it. It will register the behavior for you on the on the ground. It will run the attach. And obviously, guess, guess what? Uh, we have uh, the sister function here. And the sister function will be remove behavior. That's it. So it's live coding. So hopefully it's going to work. Let's say I'm going to open here the inspector to be able to play with the sphere. So here I did not sp press space yet. OK, so let me turn on the move here and I'm going to take my sphere. OK. Oops. So it's working. OK, now I'm eating space. Boom. I'm eating space again. Yes. So you can see I am adding and removing. OK, space again. Tac. Excellent. It works. I am adding and removing um, behaviors by just sp pressing space. So it's a pretty powerful way of developing because then you can reuse that uh, behavior, save it somewhere in your uh, code, and then apply it to a multiple uh, amount of, um, of objects, of meshes here. So in uh, Babylon JS, it's funny uh, because, uh, oops, that's the correct one. Um, we use that a lot. For instance, we can let camera have a specific behavior, like making sure that a object is always centered or rotate around an object. And we also have behavior on meshes. Let me give you a last example before the end of this video. Here, we have a pointer drag behavior that's going to take a axis. And when you uh, apply this behavior to a mesh, you can just with your mouse, move the mesh, like the mesh become draggable. It's a draggable um, uh, behavior. Isn't that powerful, right? Just three line, line of code here. Here, uh, there is a, you can use the mesh orientation or the camera orientation. So I use the camera orientation in this case. That's it. It could be two lines of code to just drag. Isn't that powerful, right? I hope you're going to do more uh, behavior soon. Thank you very much. See you on the forum. Do not forget to register by hitting the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye bye.